Jordan Lewis better than we give no credit for? I think so. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Roan Cowboys Fan Talk. Right back like I never left. What's going on with y'all, man? Off-road CFT today, man. Um, been out of town on a work trip, handling some business in another state this week. So, you know, that's why you got the one to upload. And then um, I missed today, so my fault for that, man. Back on track. But, you know, I always got my ear to the Cowboy Street. So, yesterday I was paying attention to what was going on up and down the timeline. And I noticed something small, man. Jordan Lewis. Have we not been giving Jordan Lewis enough respect as a fan base? Um, I'm just wondering. Jordan Lewis apparently had a great year last year, like really great. Um, some advanced stats came out recently showing that Jordan Lewis was ranked the second best slot cover corner in the league. Slot cover success rate. He was behind Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Um, Jordan Lewis ranked seven, second with a 59.1% coverage rate. That means, statistically, he was our best rated corner last year. Now, we're not talking about, look, Trayvon Diggs is undoubtedly our best corner. Um, just physically, capabilities, things like that. Tra Trayvon Diggs is our best corner. That's not what I'm here to dispute. What I'm saying is, we have better corners on this roster than a lot of people want to give us credit for, than we've been giving ourselves credit for. Um, this stat coming out lets me know that Jordan Lewis is better than we, we, we assume, and that our secondary isn't as bad as we think it is. It might have been more scheme. The thing that we don't like to talk about, because um, we, we want to put a chest on the players. But scheme is important, man. In football, coaching is one of the most important things, period. You know, I you guys know that. Um, a head coach, a positional coach, can change everything. It can mean the world. Uh, my point in saying that is this. With the scheme change and the coaching change and us having better talent on this roster than we were thinking about, we really might not be as far off as everyone thinks we are. You know, I've been guilty of it too, thinking like, ah, the defense, you know, everybody was trash last year. A lot of the trash players either are gone, weren't resigned. Um, I'm not going to call them trash, but we had some retirements, you know, just because of age and injury. Um, so a lot of the roster's been turned over defensively. But when you look at the secondary specifically, um, you know, you go Diggs, and then you go Lewis, and you go Brown. You kind of skip over the, wow, we have one of the best statistically. One of the best. And I ain't going to call him slot god or nothing like that, even though he played like one last year. He got busy. A 59% success rate is great. You know what I'm saying? Um, our coverage rate is great. And I think that we should start acknowledging that we got a great slot corner already. We have a great outside corner already. We still do need to solidify that other corner position. And I know Anthony Brown is looking like he might start because the hate. we got right back to it yesterday too. The 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 hate on boss man fat is exponential. I'm gonna do a whole video on that because it's it's really been kind of pissing me off. Look, man, I ain't saying boss man fat Kelvin Joseph is perfect. I ain't saying he Deion Sanders. I'm just saying, get a dude a chance. I know he rap. I know that bothered a lot of people. I know he had his issues in the past. But everyone that watches this video has had issues in the past. Ain't nobody perfect. And if you feel like you've grown and you're trying to grow past it, and every time you go do something, they keep bringing it up, that piss you off too. You know, if the mistakes I made in my early 20s and mid 20s came up every time I went to do something, I'd be frustrated too. I'd be on edge too. You know what I'm saying? I know he's made some mistakes in his early 20s. Y'all acting like this dude 35. So at 21, 22, 
19, 18, y'all made all the right decisions. Y'all ain't make no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, sorry, I got off on a little tangent. My point is the, the other corner position has to be solidified. And whether it's Nashawn Wright, whether it's going to be Kelvin Joseph, whether we end up bringing in a veteran, because Richard Sherman's still out there. Um, I think Poole's still out there. There's some, some corners out there that we can bring in that could solidify this room. Um, but we just haven't pulled the trigger on that yet. And I'm thinking that's after training camp. They need to see what we got. Fine. I get that. But to have two corners solidified, to have that safety room halfway solidified, you got Donovan Wilson. You know what I'm saying? If you got five main positions on the, in the secondary, to have three out of five ain't bad. And that's how I feel with the feel like we got. We got a really good slot corner. It's official. You know, um, Jordan Lewis is a really good slot corner. He, is he perfect? No, ain't nobody perfect. But do I think that we need to run out and replace him right now? No. I think that the statistical, um, the stats that came out, the advanced stats, the next-gen stats, show that, nah, we're good there. Trayvon Diggs, we're good there. We got great rookie talent, so we might be good at the other corner and with corner depth. And um, as far as we need to see how Casey really folds out, so the other safety position might be up in the air. But as far as strong safety, we got Donovan Wilson as a starter. And although um, Keanu Neal is here to play weak side linebacker, I feel like breaking case of emergency, if Donovan Wilson regresses or doesn't show up, Keanu Neal has played at a Pro Bowl level as strong safety. And he would be definitely willing to slide back and move back to his old position if we needed him to, if he's on the team. So my point in coming in today, man, while I'm on this drive, this six hour drive, is to just say, man, look, let's start giving Jordan Lewis some more respect and let's realize that the Cowboys are not as far off in the secondary as we think. I really do feel like um, Jordan Lewis, Trayvon Diggs, Donovan Wilson are solidified and they're going to be starters. We got to show up the other safety position. We got to see if Kazee is going ball or if somebody's going to take that position from him. And the other corner. I'm a fan of boss man fat. I think boss man can get it done, but we all know that that's an uphill battle, and we got to just see how that goes. Um, I'm a fan of Nashawn Wright. I feel like Nashawn Wright is going to bring a lot to this team, and whether Nashawn ends up playing outside corner um, and boss man ends up in the slot at some point in the future, we'll just have to get there when we get there. But if we got five or six good corners, and the, 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 the argument is who can get on the field, that's way far off from last year if everyone's trash. You know, um, those are just my thoughts um, on Jordan Lewis. I feel like that he is definitely better than we have given him credit for and that we might be good there, you know what I'm saying, especially with better coaching. Better coaching, he might elevate one more level. But we'll see, man. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I'm going to finish this drive up. I'll let y'all later when I get back to my little studio. <laughs> I'll holler.